In accidental overdose news. Accidental. Submitted by Mari from Indy. It could be Indiana or India. I'm not sure yet. Uh, a police officer accidentally overdosed on a drug after a traffic stop. How did he accidentally? Did he gum himself with it or something? <laughs> no, he's all like, he's all like, oh, this looks like fucking cocaine. Let me do a test. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's cocaine. <laughs> that's yeah. a hell of a long. That, that's a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, chill. <laughs> yeah, so this officer, his name is Chris, 32 years old. He pulled over this 25 year old and 24 year old, Organic. both male, named Justin and Cortez. And so these two men, they were <clears throat> familiar to the police. <laughs> Cause they're from like a street gang in Cleveland, from Cleveland. When he pulled them over, he noticed that inside the vehicle, the passengers started like frantically moving a lot in the car. So he's saying like, as he's approaching people, like he's really nervous. Cause he's like, you never know like what they're trying to do in there. Like they could be preparing to like <laughs> shoot me. So he was just like nervous, but cautious. So he approaches them and arrests them. And they find that there's all this white powder on the floor of the car. And so what they were doing, is that these people, they were trying to like crush the drugs that they had. And so when the officers- Crushing it doesn't make it go away, buddy. Exactly. They told police that it was cocaine, but the field test came back negative and they ended up admitting that it was fentanyl. It's a really dangerous, potent synthetic opi opioid. So it's odorless and colorless. It's 50 to 100 times way more potent than morphine. Whoa. And it's used by drug dealers to cut heroin for a stronger high and to also stretch their supply. So that's what fentanyl. Shit, that's some and crazy shit. Apparently, uh, Chris, after you know dealing with that whole scene, a coworker of his ends up saying like, "Hey, you got some like white powder on the back of your shirt," and I'll just let him tell you the rest of the story. Is he all cross-eyed and shit? This is four days after his overdose. Never dreamed that something dangerous would be such minute piece of powder. We were told by the subjects at the scene that it was cocaine. Instinctively, I reach around to pull the tail of my sweatshirt to the front. By then, my thumb, my finger was already in it. An hour later, the 32-year-old passed out from the drug. He'd absorbed it through his skin. And woke up later <laughs> in the hospital. I'm Whoa. starting to realize what's going on, but at the same time, I'm I'm in disbelief. There's there's no way that this has happened to me. Now, four days later, Green doesn't want this incident to stop him from doing his job. I'm ready. I, I. They're not gonna win. You're you, you're not coming to my town and peddling that poison. You might get away with it today, but just believe you better be looking over your shoulder because we're gonna be kicking your door in. That's right. Yeah. All you need is a little bit of coconut water and some IV and get back to work. It looks like he's still feeling the effects though. Well, he can't even speak. Yeah. Shit. That shit's gotta be crazy for you to downplay it in front of cops and call it cocaine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because usually it's like, oh, that's that's this. So there's oh no no that, that that's that's just cocaine. That's, that's just... crazy that it was on the tail of a shirt, right? And he touched it with his thumb, and, and just that small little screen. contact made him knock out for four days. That's fucking frightening. Not for four days, but yeah. yeah, but he was out. He couldn't do his job for four yeah. days. Through fucking, fucking his fucking skin, he like, just passed out. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, he's saying that he started talking weird, and that his body just started shutting down. <laughs> So then immediately they had to rush him over to the hospital and they gave him this nasal spray called Narcan and it reverses the effects of the op opioid overdose. So that's what saved him. And they're saying that if he was alone and would have waited oh. 10 minutes more, he would have died. <laughs> he would have died. For sure he would have died though. Probably would have got jumped too and kidnapped. Well, they were dying too. They're saying that neither of the men in the car overdosed because oh, they're shit. saying that it's either that they didn't touch it or that they just have such a high tolerance. Tolerance to it. Maybe yeah. they had gloves on? Yeah, it's like a really scary drug because immediately just shit. being, just touching it, like you're fucked. If I was a cop, I always rubber gloves. I ain't touching, I don't even want to touch criminals. I don't want their criminal fucking shit to get on me. That is a procedure, so they immediately did. They put gloves and everything. They put it on his shirt. But it was, yeah, it was on the back of his shirt, and it was, oh. by the time he had already gotten back to the station, that's when a coworker had told him. Genius idea. Don't fucking steal my idea. Now they need to make police outfits out of hazmat outfits. So imagine like the fucking like yellow thing, like a raincoat material, but make that into the outfit. But what about you if you're trying to creep up on someone? 
Maybe we'll make it a different color. Or what Maybe. about the sound? The sound is kind of loud. You're just sweating like a motherfucker underneath. Maybe I'll change something. I'll okay. change something. <laughs> a, a couple things. A couple change things. it back to like Maybe, maybe I won't make it cotton. Maybe I won't make it cotton. Maybe it's like uh, something else. Like metal. Even louder. <laughs> something even louder than that shit. <laughs> yeah, so the officers are pushing for a felony assault charge on these suspects. Oh, hell yeah. And because of the fact that they lied, they are also being charged with tampering with evidence. Yeah, they put the, the life of the officer in danger, man. Exactly. Yeah. That's crazy. Imagine he grabbed like a handful of it. He's fucked. He would have been dead. Or he do, does that test that they always do in the movies. I don't know if they do that. Dude, either. there's so many fucking new drugs out now. I saw this one. It was like called Russia's Deadliest Drug. And it makes people like guaranteed death. Oh fuck! Why, why would you take it? That is a deadly drug. <laughs> so, no, I was like, <laughs> like users, drug. users are pro it's like pretty much gonna end up dying. Like <laughs> not immediately after they use it, but then like with repetitive use. Yeah. Trying to die, homie? Hell yeah! I think it's called it's like, like crocodile like, or some shit like that. Like, what's your marketing technique with that I bullshit, know. dude? So many new drugs. Straight up, once you have this, you don't see Jesus, bro. <laughs> really. And he's it's called done. Jesus. It's For called Jesus. Reason. It's called Afterlife. Fuck that shit. I ain't trying no drug called Afterlife, man. I don't know how you can top coke and meth. Like, that's already fucking bad, right? So now we have drugs that make those drugs look like it's just a little bit I of weed. Oh, that's so true. Fuck! That synthetic weed's about to fuck you up real hard. Yeah, there's okay. people dying. That's a fucking Flintstone vitamin, homie. The heroin lean, dude. I love that shit. What's that? Those the fire heroin acts where they're leaning over because they're just like swaying. <laughs> Doing the Michael Jackson? Yep. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and they, they, they never fall, by the way. Yeah. They somehow catch themselves every time, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know what kind of drugs the crackheads do in my neighborhood because every single one love to talk to themselves. Yeah. What kind of drug makes you talk to yourself? And angry, too. They're angry, angry, yeah! Shit. Dude, the other night mm. I was like taking the dogs out to go pee and then this lady was walking down the street going, nah! Nah, fuck, fuck you, ah, not at me. They should just replace all the crack and give them all ecstasy, so they're just all happy. And Maybe. Remember Justin when he got cursed out by that one dude when we were walking to go eat? Oh yeah, <laughs> that dude was fucking funny, man. So he comes up to Justin, right? He's all like tweaking out and shit. Hey man, you got a dollar something? And Justin's like, Nah. Well, fuck you, dude. No. That's what he says. And he's like, <gasps> and then he goes away and he comes back. He goes, Hey man, but you got a dollar though? <laughs> I was what? like, What the hell? And like the, the, there was a cop there, luckily, and he kind of was like, "Yo, back up off of me, shit." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, "Jeez, man, the guy's is fucking insane." How do you like curse somebody out and then ask for a dollar right after? He probably forgot. Or marketing. That shit happened to me at the gas station. This guy came up and he asked, me, "Hey, um, hey, bro, can I get a, can I get some change or a dollar or something?" Nah. Cool. He went around, asked another guy from the gas station, came back up to me, "Hey, bro." Can I get like a dollar or some change or something? Same exact fucking line. Nah, okay, cool. And I see him going around and I'm like, I wonder if he's gonna come back for a third time. And <laughs> it was like so weird. Did he? No. Oh. He started asking other people, but I bet you he's asking the same thing. Hey, hey bro, can I um, get some change or like a dollar or something? <laughs> Damn. I wonder how you go about feeling uh, sympathy for for that type of homeless, you know? Because it all obviously like the level of homeless is different. I, yeah, I'm a, I don't think he was homeless. He was just a tweaker. Oh, okay, never like, mind. <laughs> yeah. Apologies. I feel like there's homeless and then there's fucking crackheads. There's a difference. Oh, that's true. And then there's homeless crackheads, dude. Uh, that's right. I met the, the, the happiest homeless lady the other day. So, living in downtown LA. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You gotta put your foot up. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you talk about? He's been talking and I could see his fucking foot in this fucking Kleenex box. How dare you do this shit to me? Why doesn't anyone else see this? You know I saw so it from the corner of my eye, but I was trying so hard to just focus on what You know what, what that's saying? like, dude? That's literally like somebody having a serious conversation with you, right? And they bring out a pipe and the bubbles come out of it. What? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what that is. <laughs> Why do you think I'm laughing all the time? You guys don't see half of the shit he does. And I'm like, I'm always right in front of him and I can't help it. I'm just always laughing. I'm fucking it on your foot, man. Okay. Hey, I'll, I I don't have black I don't want to have black feet. <laughs> but you said you're training your feet. To I know, but I just... Your tongue are behind you. You know, I was inspired. <laughs> Look, 
I saw this episode in The Simpsons and Mr. Burns had two tissue boxes on his foot and I saw a tissue box that was empty so I decided I did see you. Like? You grabbed it, you were playing with it and then he just dropped it on the floor and he kind of plays with it with his foot a little and then he puts it in <laughs> so then that's when you call them out. Damn, because he was like having such a good time. This is his foot just rubbing on the carpet. And he's like, yes, I met the happiest homeless lady yesterday. I'm like, what the fuck? You're homeless, dude. I know. That's homeless behavior. Well, going back to my happy homeless lady story. So me and Jez wanted some Caesar salad and pizza. And then we That's so specific. Caesar salad and pizza. It's a great combination, by the way. Pepperoni pizza. Mm. And then I park my car, get out, and then she's like, I got some scented candles. And I was like, oh, it's okay. I don't want to buy any. And then she's like, how about a dollar so I could go get some pizza? And I'm thinking like, the pizza costs more than a dollar. So I was like, uh, I could buy you a slice of pizza. She goes, you will? And I was like, yeah. What do you want? I like a pepperoni. <laughs> and I was like, all right, cool. So I go in. And then like, we're just getting our stuff. And then I get her her slice. And then I was like, here you go. And she goes, ooh, you came out. I thought you forgot. Well, God bless you. Haha, <laughs> cute. Yeah, and then she was hella happy. I got a, a homeless dude a Jamba Juice. He wanted a straight, fresh squeezed orange juice. What a healthy guy. Yeah. Damn. But he was interesting though, because I saw, so it was weird, because I already bought it, and then it was already there. But he apparently he wanted a vitamin boost. He goes, give me three vitamin boosts. Like three vitamin power. He needs it. Maybe there's been a flu going around yeah. and he's like, I ain't trying to get All shit. I know is I looked at him, I was like, bro, you need more than vitamin boost. <laughs> <laughs> but this one went outside and I, he's religious because after I bought him, he asked if he, if I wanted him to read a Bible verse for me. So I said, no, I'm okay. No, thank you. So he goes outside, gets his juice, walks up to the curb, drinks it, and he goes, <laughs> so it's like praying out like this. Like, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, so I thank you, God, for the fucking orange juice, but he didn't even thank me. Yep. <laughs> I was like, all right, he didn't bro. even thank you? Yeah, I was like, yeah, you could thank God, but yo, give me, maybe, I don't know, man, I thought you would. Can I get a thank you or something? I don't know. Thank you, God, for sending me one of your Asian angels. Asian <laughs> angels. That sounds like a porn site. Hey guys, thanks for watching that last episode. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we upload videos every single day for you guys. Now to watch more videos, check them out up here.